where nothing bad happened right before it. And I was like, man, am I going to be able to bring the rage? <laughs> like, and uh, I was, like, I was finally in a good place. And uh, unfortunately, I think I managed to do it still. But, um, but uh, especially season three. But uh, so now it's just a matter of, you know, now I've lived with that character for so long that there's there are these moments that like Colleen has even said when we were recording this movie, Heroes Rising, uh, she's like, man, I never have to tell you how to say a thing as Bakugo. She's like, you, you've lived with Bakugo so much that you immediately know exactly the way that he's going to say something. As long as I have the context of the scene or like why I'm saying the thing, um, that might change the inflections. But really, that was that's always it, is that Bakugo is just such a part of me now that like... I can always tap into Bakugo in that moment. So, and you? <laughs> the Deku cry. Um, it, it is... Um, <laughs> so uh, early on, when I was first starting with voiceover, uh, a mentor of mine uh, brought me in to do a big, like, kind of similar scream cry thing. Uh, and, and he told me, uh, don't think of this like screaming. Think of it and support it the same way you would if you were singing. So anytime I'm crying as Deku, it is imagine me singing very badly and loudly. And that's where the magic happens. <laughs> and uh, have you found that you guys have like sort of accidentally formed a rivalry just because he's like has to verbally like like yell at your character all the time and then <laughs> you have to just meet it with friends. I think it's brought us closer. I, you know? I think like, it has. To be honest, <laughs> Justin and I, Justin and I have been friends for a long time. Um, you know, we've worked together professionally. I've directed him on numerous things now. Um, we've always we've always gotten along and. Um, if anything, if there's anything that's even close to it, it's that I know that if I'm in a scene with Justin, I want to really go at my absolute best all the time because I know Justin's going to come in and do his absolute best. And so if anything, I feel like maybe, and stop me if I'm speaking for you, but like I feel like that's where we push each other is like Justin, Justin inspires me to perform more and stronger and better. And I would hope that I do the same for him. Precisely the same. Yeah. Absolutely. So like an anime rivalry. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> kind of. Except that we get we'll go and get dinner. Right. Right. <laughs> so, well, I have two, I have two questions. Okay. Uh, one for each. Um, I, I saw on your Twitter you're you're wearing a mask. And yeah. You're yes. To, so with with all this stuff going on right now in the world, how mm -hmm. afraid are you to get sick? Because I mean, your <laughs> voice would suffer as a result. Oh right? yes. At least at least for a little while. So mm -hmm. how how has that? Um, you know, maybe it's been a detriment or a scare. Like, how is that going to be? Uh, terrifying. Uh, so this week is this week's especially hard because we have a lot of travel this week. Um, Justin just came back from a convention this past weekend. I had to make a trip for somewhere for recording, uh, and it was a long drive. And then we got a, we both had to get up and fly here. And then after uh, tomorrow we fly to another convention, and, and the flights back will be overnight and stuff. So like we we have a lot of travel this week, and this week is the one I'm probably the most afraid of. Uh, um, uh, it is, it's scary. You don't want to get sick. Because, like, I can't even imagine, I can't even imagine a poor soul that if, if I get sick and somebody has to come in and do a voice match for me as Bakugo on my hero, <laughs> like, I have nothing but pity for them. Because um, I can only imagine what they're going to have to do. But uh, it's, it is terrifying. You don't want to get sick. And especially right now, the, the flu is really prevalent and the coronavirus and like everything's going on, and so I'm just like trying to keep my distance from just about everybody. So how would the Bakugo react to the coronavirus? I'm trying to yell at him. Oh my god! Or? It'd probably be like the scene where he's brushing his teeth and he's like, <laughs> he's like, die, you weakling germs. <laughs> but so Justin, and for Justin, what is it like to what is it like to play a character that is constantly growing, right? Like from episode to episode, even multiple times, even within an episode, yeah. and. With that being said, what would you want fans to pay attention to in particular in this film? Wow. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think one of the really positive qualities of uh, My Hero is that you get to watch Deku start from the bottom and then climb his way up to the top. Uh, and it is also really important that they reinforce that he, he can't really do this without the help of his friends and his mentors and the people who love and trust him. So uh, us as an audience to get to watch uh, Deku rise is, is really amazing. And I think um, it's, it's helped pull people out of some dark places to be able to root for Deku or just have someone that you uh, can see um, overcome some adversity. 
So I, I love that that audiences have Daku to relate to in that way. As far as um, for the movie, I think that uh, it, the big lesson to be taken away from is that uh, the people who are competing with you don't necessarily need to be against you. You know, you can um, you can form a sort of friendly rivalry or a nice friendship and and push each other in a positive way uh, to become better at whatever you're you're doing. So I hope that that viewers who see this movie are are similarly encouraged to push themselves and and those around them to to be better and, and just in, in in whatever facet of life that may be for them. Um, if you could switch roles with any other character, any other person, but just for this movie, who would it be? Just for this movie? Oh. Yeah. Nine. <laughs> yeah, I want to be... I, I think I switch with Johnny, uh -huh. because... <laughs> Because nine's nine has some big yelling, but his a lot of his stuff is very calm. He's very in control in his scenes, and I think that would be cool to just step in and be the villain. Yeah, yeah just super control. powerful, right? Yeah. And you know it, like ah, uh, probably Bakugo, you know, <laughs> but, like, cut loose for once. <laughs> uh, Justin, I'm sorry to ask a black clover question, but oh, okay, <laughs> don't be sorry to ask a question. Black like is just such a, a very precious character. Yeah. And just to have a character who, you know, today you might say he's on the spectrum or has like a learning disability mm -hmm. character who's constantly smiling and no one understands why. And then when he had that moment where like his mom is like, just stay in work, just stay, stay with me. And then his friend's like, no, come back to us. And it really touched me. Yeah, it really touched me a lot. Did, did that... Did having that moment for that character, did it did it speak to you personally? Absolutely, yeah. Um, Luck is is very uh, misunderstood even by those closest to him. Uh, he always is wearing that brave smile. <laughs> I, I, I admire that you know he's confident and he knows what he's about and he knows uh, how to get it. But yeah, I think there there's a, a pivotal moment when they actually had to fight against Luck, the the main uh, Bulls team. And at the end, after it all, Luck breaks down crying and he says. Uh, can we still be friends? You know, that's, that's basically all I have. Uh, and they say, of course, we accept you for, for the person that you are, and we love you for it. So I think that's really, really sweet. Do you all base your performances off the Japanese soundtrack? We, I wouldn't say we base them exactly, uh, but we definitely, we, we reference every line that we record before recording it, just to get a sense of the motion, the animation, how they perform it, and what kind of adjustments we have to make. Yeah. I think of it, I think of it like a stencil. Yeah. It's like, here's the general shape, but we get to color in the, the picture, you know, with our own. Our own <laughs> um, without spoiling anything, like, what are some big character moments to look forward to in this movie? For, for your story characters. Ooh, um, you get to see Deku and Kachan work together in in uh, in a meaningful way for the mm -hmm. first time. They're not butting heads. They are they're working together and pushing each other and and covering each other. Uh, so I think that's great. Like like to see all that history that they've had building up for you know over a decade is is amazing. And and it turns out they are pretty good together. So um, as two people who are who grew up as fans. <laughs> <laughs> How does it feel to be what is basically the new Goku and Vegeta for the modern like, era? Oh, it's mind blowing. Yeah, it's, it's just incredible because like it's one of those things. You know, there are those rivalries that that stand out, right? That you always think about. It's Goku and Vegeta, and it's Naruto and Sasuke, and and now it's Deku and Bakugo uh, is the kind of like the next one, and it's it's insane. Uh, you know, just to be to have been just a kid. You know, went to like. Yeah. Went to a normal high school, you know, normal public school upbringing and, you know, whatever, and to, to get to be this thing that is, it's a symbol, you know, like, that. it's so funny, the show has all this thing about, right, the symbol of peace and what these characters mean in the world that they, ha you know, inhabit. But like, what it means to us in our world is is very similar. That they they represent so much to the audience and whatnot. To get to portray that is just it's mind bending. Uh, Justin, besides for two heroes, besides being like anime diehard, <laughs> not trying to start an interfandom war, but like the epiphany I had watching that movie. Yeah. Like, my hypothesis, this is like the correct version of The Last Jedi. Not that I hate The Last Jedi, I'm like, okay, if you make a few changes, yeah. I feel like Two Heroes is like what I wanted Last Jedi to be, where you have 
to let go of your nostalgia and you have to sort of move on to the next generation. And I feel that's what this show is about. It's about empowering and enabling the next generation to get, to make it their story and let them let the let let them have their story now. Give the story over the net to them, but still honor the the, the, past, the past generation and let them have their moment to kind of shine and, and pass the torch over. Which I feel that's what people have problem with with, with Last Jedi. But what do you think of Two Heroes and just sort of the passing of the torch to the new generation? I think that's extremely astute. Yeah, uh, he, uh, Two Heroes was uh, essentially about. Uh, the kids are on their own, you know. They they have been locked out from any sort of uh, other supervision, and so they have to take everything that they've learned thus far and apply it to be a really powerful force of evil. Um, so yeah, I, I do think a, a big theme of the show, and it does uh, seep into the movies, is that you're not beholden by where you came from. You are your own person, and so Deku, uh, you know, he's he's overcome a lot of adversity, and now he's he's taken everything that he's learned from All Might to be able to to tell him and say, hey, don't worry about it, All Might. I'm gonna help you out this time. And I, but also that kind of nost how nostalgia can be a crippling, so it can yes. hold you back. Mm -hmm. yes. And I feel that was more in the, in the last movie, too. Yeah, definitely. Um, so the premise of the film is that you guys are left to be unsupervised heroes um, on a small island. Uh, can you just, like, tell us, uh, like, how, how, what's the most interesting part of that plot with your characters interacting with that? I think that, um, yeah, okay. Uh, so I think that what's really interesting about this movie and the characters that get introduced is that uh, the, the children that you meet, the brother and sister, are a very close analog to the sort of relationship that Deku and Bakugo had once. Uh, and, and, and they even sort of, it, it shows in how they think about heroes and, and, and defeating villains. Uh, so I like that these... This new new generation gets to see um, the fruits of our labor and and be inspired and say, well, there isn't exactly one way to go about this. There are other there are many different uh, motivations that can lead you to that same place of heroism. Yeah. And at least on my end of stuff, uh, for what they are at Naboo Island for. Uh, what's really funny about it to me, or entertaining for me, is that Bakugo doesn't want to do any of the mundane stuff. <laughs> like he, he, they're all like going out and patrolling and helping people get cats out of trees yeah. and start up <laughs> tractors and stuff like that. And and Bakugo is just like, nope, I'm staying here. I'm reading this book. Like, I'll answer the phone. Like he doesn't want to deal with it, and because he just he he doesn't want to handle that. That's not what he's. And it also, admittedly, is probably not what he'd be good at. You know, whereas the thing that he's good at is combat, and so. When the when the villains start showing up, that's what he jumps at. Like, okay, I'm here. I can do this. And even once the villains really show up and the fights are going down, the first few people get defeated. Um, there's talk about like we need to detain this guy or we need to get this guy over here or help the people. And Bakugo leaves and everybody goes, "Where are you going?" And he goes, "I'm gonna go fight the big guy. You guys handle that." Yeah. Like, because like that's what Bakugo's good at. And so that's kind of what's that's kind of what was so entertaining about it to me was. Uh, even even in this new setting where they're doing these new things, the characters are still so themselves. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you guys.